Hello Instagram Live, Louisa Hazlett here, creator of the Helix Method and Master Akashic Record teacher and trainer. So excited to be jumping on here, this is very spontaneous, I was guided to come live every day this week so you will see me popping up. I um, haven't really done lives before on Instagram, normally I'm hanging out on, on Facebook so it's fantastic to be here. Hi Lorraine, how are you lovely, it's good to see you here again, you were here yesterday, hooray hooray. So today we are talking about and chatting about collapsing timelines so you can bend reality and I want to give you a tool that we teach our premium clients to master and we coach coaches so that they can have their clients have the energetic alignment and success that they crave as, as well. As you're joining we do say hello, we'd love to say hello to you guys in the comments as well and of course please do share this live with anyone that you think that would benefit from this, you know, thank you for sharing or tagging your friends. Um, it's so exciting to have this conversation with everybody that it, you know that it resonates for. So, let me know. Would you love to master collapsing timelines? And how I talk about this is, I like you to think of future timelines as paths that you're currently on, and we always have an infinite number of future timelines within our potential, ranging across the different vibrational scales. So we have timelines in front of us that are of a lower vibration, that are very ego-led. That are default timelines that are in line with our current fear patterns, 3D programming, all the old paradigms, increasing up to higher timelines that are in alignment with our soul purpose, are in alignment with our divine alignment. And the thing that has the biggest effect on which one that we default to is, is what we're holding in our human Wi-Fi. So we hold in our human Wi-Fi all old timelines, which include all the experiences, the previous traumas, memories, beliefs, emotions, our ancestral patterns and timelines, all of this is, is coming together and making up our identity across all the different roles that you know we all play in, in life. And we are, I invite you to think of these as energetic cords that are literally holding us back and locking us into a default timeline moving forward. So we're energetically tethered to our unresolved past with these unhealed timelines. And this is how, this has an direct impact on this now moment and future present moment now moments as well so in any given present moment where you are manifesting from one present to the next present you have an infinite number of timelines available to you and that whole array of infinite number of possible timelines that you could connect into when when you're moving from one moment to the next within the range of vibrational frequencies so the lower timelines where your ego is leading, your beliefs that perhaps used to serve you, your create that were creating that timeline. You're, and this is where people can start to feel like they're self-sabotaging because we've outgrown those beliefs. Those beliefs have had their best before, we've gone past their best before date. But it really is time to take a new set of beliefs for a spin. So anything that, that's attached to a lower vibrational um, density, thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. And then as we're releasing all that, energy and programming and we start to move up to the higher timelines that are in alignment with your soul purpose with your higher vibrational thoughts and beliefs so this is think of this as your highest timeline so in any given moment any time that you're manifesting from now to the to the next now you're connecting into a timeline in your future of potentiality that has this range uh, all the way up to the highest timeline of flow ease joy and impact so Ideally, we want to create our default to be aligned to our highest timeline, and we can. This is the, the great news, is that we can, and there are some very specific things that we can do. So if you take a moment and just close your eyes and imagine you're facing forward in your life with an entire array of possible timelines that are available to you. And the reason that you don't automatically default to the highest timeline is because of the past timelines that are pulling you back through memory, through trauma held within your body, through energetic beliefs, thoughts, patterns, all the unconscious programming. So these timeline cords are holding you back and just making it more and more difficult for you to be able to choose to align to yourself and move forward through your most aligned divine timeline. And depending on how many of these past timelines of events of, you know, traumas, past relationships, hello, hello. Good to see you guys. Do say hello in the comments. 
love to say hello back. Thank you for joining, whether you're joining me live or, or on the replay. So we're talking about the past timelines. So past timelines of events, these can be traumas, past relationships that aren't resolved, old memories of old wounds, unconscious programming as a result. These are all these timelines that are lowering your vibrational frequency that are holding. Think of them as holding an energetic charge. And so they're slowing down your path to what you desire and you're defaulting then to a lower density timeline. So all of this is impacting your, your codes of becoming limitless that we talked about yesterday, your codes of being, codes of energetic responsibility, forgiveness, holding personal boundaries, wherever you're at on your journey. Of, we're all on a journey of self-leadership, of course. So we can see what is going on in our reality and this, this actually shows us if we're choosing higher timelines or not. Does that make sense? Or if we're in a timeline that is showing us that there are traumas and energies to be healed as they reveal their different layers as we expand and expand and grow and the thing is as you change the energetic charge in your past and heal these timelines and heal the events you let go of that energetic connection you actually free up more of your energy to be in the now moment and to be in the flow state so you're raising your vibration and as you change the energy around all these past experiences you stop the energy leaks and this is where momentum really starts to build and you'll notice that you're able to manifest more quickly your vibration is raising and so you start jumping onto onto new timelines so as you're healing and collapsing the energy of that old timeline you release it for everyone involved so that it isn't impacting your future choices does that make sense so just to bring this to life a bit more so anywhere we're holding on to past financial traumas. So this is, can be traumas that we've experienced directly ourselves. This can also be traumas that we've witnessed with our parents experiencing them, whether they've experienced bankruptcy or perhaps you've experienced bankruptcy or you witnessed business decisions that perhaps didn't pan out or anywhere that you are in a holding pattern where perhaps you haven't quite ever completed, you know, accomplished your goals. We're living out an old timeline in that current moment and it then has that impact on the decisions that we make and the actions that we take and then of course our results. And one of my clients I did this with was blown away because she said she bought in, she had a 60K month with much more ease and grace than before. She'd had a 60K month before but it was just taking the full month for it to come in. And because we collapsed the timeline by changing the, the programming in, in, in her brain and your vibrational frequency by changing a relationship with the past and stopping these energy leaks it allowed a more congruent message to be sent out to the universe and for the timeline to be collapsed to allow to allow the money to come in more quickly does that make sense so let me know i'd love to know in the comments who is ready to collapse timelines and to bend reality is this something that you do already is this new to you and I'm just going to invite you, yesterday I was talking about dreaming bigger, so I'm just going to invite you to give yourself permission to dream bigger. And this is something that we talk about in the Helix Method all the time, so that our clients can become, you know, become more of who they truly are, because that's what happens when we undo the program, we actually find out who we really are. So this is why I love, love doing this with clients, love teaching this and talk about this wherever I can. So I'm going to introduce you to our Helix Method kinesiology and manifesting ritual which is one of our proprietary techniques that we teach within our programs so we teach this in the wealth portal this is where our clients are breaking through their money ceiling and then we also have this in our helix method certification program as well so this is where we're teaching other uh, coaches to be able to use these techniques with their clients so their clients can have rapid results as well so what we do in the helix method we use our body as a dousing device to see which resistant thoughts or feelings or emotions or beliefs are holding us back and locking our energy in onto that timeline that we're wanting to, to move off. And you may be already familiar with muscle testing. There are, there are so many different techniques that come from applied kinesiology. And there are many energy psychology modalities that use muscle testing because it works. It's amazing. So we use the sway technique. Now, this is my preferred technique because I find it to be the most accurate it's one that you can use when you're working with people um, you know, remotely because you can see what's going on in their energy field. So you can read their energy and people feel it when they're doing it. So it's a great way to really start to listen to your body, to listen to somatically what's going on 
and to really amplify your intuition, which is another reason why I love it. So we're using muscle testing to bring to our awareness what beliefs and emotions might be hidden in our consciousness, in our body's intelligence. And then we release the thoughts and emotions and energy through intentionally speaking and through our breath work and bringing our heart into coherence and, and um, what we're thinking about with rewiring statements. And then we use positive affirmations and statements to imprint what we want into our consciousness and to activate this in our human Wi-Fi and to really start to make sure that we've ch consciously changed our frequency. So we're bringing ourselves into alignment and shifting onto that higher timeline. This, this is alignment. And the key thing for, for me within the Helix Method, and this is an absolute game changer, so really pay attention now, is having alignment across the different levels of our consciousness. So our higher self, our conscious mind and our subconscious. And further to that alignment is between our, you know, physically our brain and our heart and our gut. And, and when we're in this, this flow state, this, this creates a neurological synchronization between our heart and brain. It's changing the structures and associations in our brain and our brainwave patterns that all has an impact on our body, reduces our adrenal and our cortisol levels. So we're resolving that stress phase in our body. So your body can move into a healing phase. So this is helping to ch make changes on a, on a cellular level. So this is impacting your DNA. So what you're doing is you're creating new neural pathways in your brain and creating a new emotional set point and a mental set point and this process is is called neuroplasticity this is something we continue to do throughout our life this is so important so this is why i want to be really conscious about it otherwise it's just going to go off and you know be rewiring itself according to the programming and all the stuff that's coming into our energetic fields are, are around us so what I'm going to invite you to do now, we're going to do this together, is to muscle test. I'm going to just give you a quick headline um, overview of how to do this. Let me know in the comments, have you done muscle testing before? Do you know how to use the sway technique? Um, let me know. I'm going to guide you through the process now. This is the Helix Method Manifesting Ritual. We're going to be using kinesiology to help you unlock what's going on in your subconscious to find out you know, what's holding you back. So... That's going to just create a baseline um, experience for you so you know what your body's like when you're not kind of thinking about things you're attached. And then let's think about the amount of revenue that you're wanting to create in your business. And we'll muscle test to see if you're, you're energetically or, you know, creating your nervous system is creating uh, some resistance to you actually receiving it and creating it. Does that make sense? So to muscle test to using the sway technique, I'm going to invite you to stand up if you can. If you're in a coffee shop, it might look a bit weird if you suddenly start doing this. But if you can, stand up. Stand with your feet hip width apart and just looking straight ahead. So knees slightly soft, so you're kind of relaxed. Your body's not rigid, if that makes sense. Um, hands out of your pockets. Um, feet flat on the ground, so you've got high heels. Kick them off so that you can ha have your feet flat on the ground. And then I'm just going to invite you just to close your eyes and to bring your awareness to your chest and bring your awareness to your breath so that you're coming out of your head because your head might be going, what the hell are you doing? That's very normal if that happens. So I'm just going to invite you to focus on your breath. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then I just want you to say something that you know to be true. So just say, my name is whatever your name is. So I say, my name is Louisa Havers. And then just notice what happens. And you're likely to get a slight forward sway for a yes and a slight backward sway for a no. And you can do this sitting down as well. So I'm sitting down at the moment. So if you're just sitting on the edge of your seat uh, with your feet sort of tucked underneath you, so you can kind of rock, you'll feel it. It just feels like an energetic pull. So just say, so my name is Louisa Havers. And then I can just feel myself ever so, and I do it quite quickly. I respond quite quickly because I trust the process. If there's any doubt, you might be thinking, like, what's going on? Just keep breathing, focusing your attention on your heart chakra, and then just allow and notice what you notice. So I invite you to test it with things that you know to be true. So like your name, so my name is Lisa Havers, or whatever your name is, how old you are. So I am, I'm 50. So my, my body's going to go, yes, you are. <laughs> so I am 50. If, if I was to say I'm 25, my body's going to go, uh-uh, no, you're not. And then I would go backwards. So say things that, to, that you know to be true or false that you're not attached to, and then you can feel what it feels like as a baseline. Does that make sense? 
So the other thing you can do is you tell yourself, I'm going to go forwards for a yes and backwards for a no. You're instructing your subconscious. So your energy body will respond. It will give you a yes, you'll go forwards like this. And as you go back, if, if it's a no, you'll go backwards like this. Does that make sense? And you, where you'll feel it energetically in your body is you might feel an inner pull in your heart chakra, just below your chest, or you might feel a pull in between your shoulder blades. Or you might not feel anything at all. Everybody's so, so different. So let me know if you have done this technique before and um, let me know in the comments or if you're new to this. I've got a video of me guiding you through this as well on my YouTube channel, so I can pop the link below. And we've also got a PDF that we give all our clients. So let me know in the comments if you'd like the PDF and then we, we'll, we'll pop the link below for you as well so you can download that. But essentially the steps are, welcome, welcome. The steps are connecting in with your higher self. And we do this through intention and invocation and breath work. So we bring our higher self-consciousness subconscious and conscious mind all in alignment invite you to muscle test to find out you know what is the resistance what is holding you back energetically and then we are listening to the responses that we are getting from our body our subconscious by noticing what we notice as we say these words and we're muscle testing and then once we've got that awareness we let it go by saying a releasing statement your, your consciousness is listening to every single word that you're saying so I like to guide people through this by breathing in for four, breathing out for four, and then repeating this three times. Oh, you said your name and your and your body leaned backwards. Alrighty, so what I invite you to do is to tap here on your thymus gland just for sort of 15 seconds, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And this just gives your, um, puts your energy into into flow and then let's try it again so inviting you just to after you've done that the other thing you can do as well is if you just do this so crossing so crossing your energy so by just tracing your like an infinity sign across your eyes like this and just do this 10 times okay and then once you've done that just invite you just to get back into that position. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four, your hands down by your side, noticing your breath, and then to say, my name is, and just notice what you notice. Do you go forwards? Do you go backwards? There are a number of different things that can happen here as well. So it can be if you haven't drunk enough water, you can actually be really dehydrated, which has an impact on muscle testing. The energies can be switched and reversed, which is why you're kind of getting a reversed, reverse sign. But let's see. Let me know if that works, um, and we'll and we'll go from there. We'll get you get you muscle testing. So you get a, get get a clear reading. Everybody is everybody's different. Hello, hello, welcome. So we're just guiding you through how to do some muscle testing, and I'm explaining our process with the Helix Method manifesting ritual, so that you can manifest whatever it is that you want. Um, and so what's Yes! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, I'm so glad that helped. Okay, so this is really exciting. We're going to do this with some real beliefs in a second, or possible beliefs, and find out what might be holding you back. So after we've muscle tested and find it, found the thing that we don't want to have anymore, we change it by doing a releasing statements, and I'll guide you through doing that. We'll do it together, so that'll be fun to do it together. So release it. Do it three times and then we think about well, what is it that we actually want to create? What new beliefs do we want to take for a spin? What do we want to program in? And then we start to program that in. Okay, so if you're getting anything other than a, a forward sway for a yes and a backward sway for a no, if you kind of go around like that, this can be an energy reversal, which I'll just talk about in, in, in a second. Um, and so this could happen for a number of different reasons. So we will clear that and then we will be able to, to move forward on this. So this is great. So if you're following along with this, I just invite you just to write down what's happening with your body. If you're getting anything, watching the replay and anything uh, other than a forward sway being a yes and a backward sway being a no, let me know in the comments. I can circle back and guide you through. But what we're going to do together in a second is likely to help. And forgive me, I don't know what your name is. This is the thing with Instagram. It just gets like code names, <laughs> so I can't go, hi. <laughs> um, so uh, let me know your name in the comments and so I can say hello to you as well. 
So after we've done that, then what I like to do once we've raised our energetic frequencies is something I call living in the energy of the question and then taking aligned action. So I'll guide you through how we do this bit as well. What I just wanted to speak to for a moment is this, this thing around with muscle testing is because one of the things that can come up as we're about to do, do something like this is, will this work for me? So remember that is just a thought. Don't believe your thoughts because it's being triggered by your nervous system that is just being activated as you're about to step forward through the resistance, through the contraction into the expansion. And, and whenever we're at that moment of breakthrough, we're, uh, we're in the breakthrough, we actually feel the resistance. We will hear things like, this doesn't really work. Not sure I believe this. Uh, it's going to work for everybody else apart from me. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, all those things. I really invite you to follow the resistance because it's showing you the right way. Don't don't contract that. Does that make sense? So if things are bubbling up or the muscle testing is doing something wonky, don't worry, I've got you. You're learning something new. Know that the subconscious is bringing out the big guns because you're about to start changing your vibrational attraction point. And the subconscious's role is to keep things the same. It just wants things to be the same, same. <laughs> keep you safe. We don't like uncertainty. We just want to... You know, run the patterns that we that we know. So what can happen is because what we're finding out when we're muscle testing is essentially we can break it down as this as three flows of energy. So energy resistance, energy being in flow or, or receptive, or energy reversals. And so let me know if this resonates. So energy reversals, you can when you're muscle testing, if you're going round and round like this, you can have an energy reversal. So think of this as the energy going in the opposite direction. It can get it can get deeper than this, but just at this level, because this is an introduction, let's just take a, a circular one can be an energy reversal. And when you have an energy reversal, you can become stuck or frozen in time or in a particular way of, of being. So much so that it will flow the energy, reverse the flow of energy around that. So sometimes what can happen if people have, let's say there's been some trauma around their name because we've been using your name, whether there's been a, a divorce or something, you know, a name change or whatever it might be, sometimes that can have an energy reversal around your name. So what you could also do if you've had, uh, you know, something happen there instead of the forwards way or the backwards way for your name is to see if you get the same kind of looping effect when you say you're something else that you know to be true, like your age or the road that you live in. Does that make sense? So you can muscle test on all these different things and see which one. Um, starts to bring that forward sway in. So we've got our baseline. And then once you know that that is your baseline, then let's start muscle testing on the other things to see if you have got um, energy reversals around what you're wanting to create. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us live. So good to see you here. We're talking about the three flows of energetic state. And we're about to do some energy work together. So do stay on. And we're going to find out where you might be energetic blocking yourself from receiving the revenue that you desire to receive in your business this month. So we have energy reversals that describe this. This is where the flow is going in the wrong way. Um, energetically, there, we all have a, a default set point and the flow of energy is moving away from what you want. So whenever you find yourself putting more and more time and energy into changing something that you feel like you're actually moving away from or you feel like you've got repeating patterns or that there's a you're in a, a loop of relentless limiting beliefs it's likely you've got some energetic reversals at play that are really just slowing your energy down and contracting your energy field and these energy reversals can come from past experiences where we have been shocked or traumatized or we just didn't have a coping strategy for that particular event which you know as human beings we have many experiences that we don't have a coping strategy for, particularly as we're, as we're growing up. And so these energy reversals, think of them as like little imprints on your subconscious field and they're held like stickers in your energy field. That's how when we're doing this work, I feel like we're pulling stickers off. These stickers of energy reversals, just taking them off and clearing the energy field so that more and more of you can come into, come into flow. So the thing about energy reversals is that they slow down your, your fields, your frequencies are dense, denser and it's harder harder to manifest. Then we have resistance. This is where it can feel sometimes like, let me know if this resonates in the comments, like you're pushing treacle up a hill. So you're going in the right direction. Yes, but it's just feeling slow. And it can feel like this push-pull sensation. This is where you can have dual beliefs going on. So you could, for example, 
let's say you are wanting to create 10k month this month in your in your in your business so 10k revenue you could believe i deserve to receive a 10k month and you could also believe i'm undeserving of receiving a 10k month so this creates this resistance and this contraction and our resistance ultimately is created through our identity through our thoughts beliefs and emotions and our past experiences and all of this is held along our personal and the collective timelines, uh, creating this feedback loop that we're experiencing in our energy field. So we want to change these reversals and resistances so that we can release all of those into a, a flow state where we're open to receiving across all levels of consciousness in our energetic being. Alrighty, yes. So just noticing these comments. I don't have believe I have any trauma regarding my name, but recently lost my job, so maybe it's my identity and self-esteem. Absolutely. So when we do some muscle testing in a moment, just notice um, what you're receiving for each of the things that we are speaking to. Um, and the other thing was when you muscle tested on your have you done your age, the roads that you live in, let us know. Hi Astrid. Let us know if you get the same result with um, those as well. Um, and then it is likely that you're in a big energy reversal because you've just recently lost your job. Does that make sense? We want to clear the energy reversal around losing your job. That is what I would advise you to do right now when, we, when I guide you through in a second. Because um, that's massive. That is a huge thing. So my heart goes out to you. It's very, very stressful and you've lost your job. So completely get that. I'm sending you loads and loads of love. Um, but it is very likely then, knowing that, that you've got an energy, you're in right a big energy reversal right now. So let's clear that in a second. So as I'm following along, just change the language to I'm releasing the energy reversal um, around losing my job. And we'll, we'll go from there. We'll get you, we'll get you flow. And it'll be really interesting for you to notice like how your energy responds after we've changed that energy reversal. Does that make sense? Because the more in flow we become, when we're in coherence, the more energy we have to manifest, things get easier and easier and easier. This is the expansion and this is the flow. And this is what we're doing with the Helix Method. We're creating the consciousness of your future self. And our, our manifesting rituals create this flow state. They truly work. We've got a challenge going on with the Helix Method Mentors at the moment, which is just so fun to see. We're only on day four, I believe it is. And I, we've got a tool where we measure people's consciousness uh, on a vibrational scale. And um, so I've been inviting all the mentors to measure themselves before they do the Helix Method Manifesting Ritual and then afterwards. And it's just so fantastic because everybody before is lower than afterwards. But what's happening over time is their, vib their baseline starting point vibrationally is higher because they're building on all the good work that they've done. Does that make sense? Anyway, you're going to get to, to experience some of this now. So very, very excited to share this with you. So have we got, has everybody here got an amount of money that they're wanting to call in this month for this, the revenue? So it can be any number that you want, because I know that people have different, you know, business sizes. So you might be just new in business. You might have a very established business. I'm going to use the amount of 10K just because it's a nice round, easy number for me to use. Um, and I'm going to invite you in a second. We're going to activate that connection in with your higher self and then i'm going to invite you to see if you've got any resistance to receiving this amount of money this this month and if you've just lost your job um so i so it looks like your name is sid Fress, but forgive me if it's not your name there um uh if you've just lost your, lost your job then i want you to muscle test on and say i have an energy reversal to um to do with losing my job and see if you have and then we'll we'll get rid of it in a second but first things first I'm going to, Sophia, ah, oh, thank you. That's a beautiful name. Okay, so Sophia, when we get to that bit, that's the bit that I want you to do is to, I'm releasing the energy reverse, reversal to do with losing my job. Alrighty, so for now, let, to get us set up for success, I'm going to invite you to invocate and activate your connection with your higher self. So of course, we're always connected to our higher self through the spiritual cord of connection up to the 12 star chakra. But I'm just going to invite you to bring your awareness and attention to it because attention is everything we manifest with our attention. So taking a moment to become aware of your soul star chakra um, about 18 inches above your head. Just to bring your attention to it and then to set the intention. So inside think, right, I'm activating my connection with my higher self. And as you do this, I invite you to breathe in for four, hold for four and breathe out for eight. And just to do this at your own pace three times. This is going to be 
amplifying and increasing your life force energy. Notice how your body's responding as you're doing this. And then just allow my words to land on your field and you can repeat them if it resonates for you to do so. And always with these things that I'm saying, just take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. So they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you very much. Ah. Okay, now I'm going to invite you to muscle test. So to muscle test the following, I have got, so say it as a positive, so let's just see if you have, say I have got resistance to receiving the amount of revenue this month that you want. So I've got resistance to receiving 10k, let's see if I'm using 10k as an example. And just notice you go forwards, backwards, or does something weird happen, like the energy revers reversals that we were talking about. Also say, I have got an energy reversal preventing me from receiving 10k this month, or whatever your amount is. And for Sophia, say, I have got an energy reversal to do with losing my job, and, ju and just see if you go forwards or backwards, or you may get the same swirling effect. So just let me know in the comments which one you get. We're going to release it as if it is an energy reversal, and then we'll just see what's, what's happening and going from there. And as you're doing the muscle testing on those two pieces, so I have got resistance to do with X, Y, and Z. I have got an energy reversal to do with X, Y, and Z, or preventing you from receiving X, Y, and Z amount of money. Notice what's happening in your body as you say those phrases. Do you feel a sensation anywhere? Do you notice any heaviness? Does a memory flash through your mind? Notice what you notice, your subconscious is speaking to you. And then, when we're ready, and that bit's really, really important because it's really allowing your subconscious to know that, oh, she's listened, he's listened, fantastic. And then you can bring that uh, connection into what you're releasing and, and changing. So you're saying, right, now we're gonna let that go. I'm aware of that red heat in my hip and I'm going to let that go now. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so just taking a nice deep breath. Ah, your body leaned backwards, so you've got to know. Okay, perfect. Uh, did you get a, a yes for resistance? Uh, did you get a... Did you muscle test with money coming in or around the job? Let me know in the comments what you're muscle testing on. Alrighty, and as you're about to do that, I'm going to just guide you through. Let's do this as a, um, so we'll do this for everybody really, um, to releasing the resistance around and the, releasing the energy reversal around receiving whatever amount of money that it is that you wanted to call in. So let's, I'm going to use the language around receiving 10k, and then I'm just going to invite you to follow along. So if you're calling in more money, just change the amount to the amount that you wanted to call in. Alrighty, okay, so I'm going to invite you to Take a moment to breathe in for four and to breathe out for four. And just to do that three times. And what you're doing here is you're bringing your heart into coherence. And then I'm going to invite you to take a moment just to pause, just to be here. And set an intention. We're just going to release this resistance and any energy of us. So going to say this one out loud and I'm going to invite you to follow along with me. So I release this resistance and this energy reversal to receiving 10k this month. I release this across all dimensions, planes, times and all levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Now I want you to say the same thing, but say it in your mind's eye so it's like the voice in your head that you hear. So saying it silently, I'll say it out loud twice so that you can follow along. So just taking a nice deep breath in and out. I release this resistance and this energy reversal to receiving 10k this week. I release this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, 
your beef with me. One more time in your head. I release this resistance in this energy reversal to receiving 10k this week, this month. I release this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. And just notice how that feels in your body. You're feeling lighter. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. And then I'm going to invite you to validate. So I want you to muscle test again the same phrases and just see what you see. So I have released this resistance to receiving X, Y, and Z. If you had resistance, I have released this energy reversal to receiving X, Y, and Z. And if you get a no to having released it, don't worry, because the next bit may very well shift it. The key thing here is really bringing your awareness to how your body is speaking as we're, as we're doing this. And we'll build, we'll build on this. Alrighty, so lean back this to, to resistance to receiving money this month. Oh, fantastic. So you're not blocking the money coming in at this very high level. So there might well, of course, be some beliefs, etc., um, thoughts and emotions to, to, that can be um, creating some resistance. So some of the things, just thinking about your job, is what are the, was it a shock? Was it expected? Um, were you happy about it? Um, what are the kind of beliefs that you now have um, off the back of that in terms of the job? So for example, sometimes we can be, um, I know I was made redundant from my job seven years ago, I wanted it, I created it so that I could leave with redundancy and start my own business. So I was very happy. Um, and so I didn't have an energy reversal around leaving my job. I did get an energy reversal around why I then had to create because it was like, oh my God, I've got to start my own business now. Ah! Um, so it was, a, it was a big old thing. Okay, okay, so not happy with your eight months pregnant. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I, do you know, I lost my job. Uh, so actually that reminds me, I was made redundant. This is a long time ago because I'm 50 now. But when I was 23, I was made redundant when I was, how, how pregnant was I now? I was four months pregnant with Al. So I hear you. That is very, very difficult. And it is very difficult to try and get a job when you're pregnant. Shouldn't be. What do you do, Sophia? What was the job that you were doing? That aside, I did take the man to court and won because <laughs> it was a fake fake redundancy and he literally just done it because I was pregnant okay my body still leans backwards when you say your name okay so we have a little baby in there so that could very well be that your baby is impacting your energy field as well so um chief of staff for an AI company okay so I hope they've taken care of you with redundancy etc so one of the things, okay, so we've got a little baby in your belly, which is very exciting. So what I'm going to invite you to do, because you've got your baby's energy field, your baby's got a name. Has Have you named your baby already? Do you know what your baby's name is? Or how do you describe your baby in your belly? And then I muscle test on that as well. Because um, you've got two consciousnesses there. It's not just your consciousness uh, that we are muscle testing with, which is super exciting. So let me know how we get on with that. Okay, so I'm going to keep moving forward and um, I'm going to invite everybody to think about, okay, so when we think about the money that we've got coming in, so just to give you some ideas on some beliefs that you can muscle test on. So if you've found resistance to bringing whatever money it is that you are come, bringing in, then um, I invite you to muscle test on, I believe I have to work harder to have 10K months, 50K months, 100K months, whatever it is. I believe I will be overwhelmed when I have X, Y, Z amounts. And then we're going to transmute the energy around this. And so just take a moment just to muscle test to see if there's anything around that. Because I think the fear of burnout is a really big one for so many people. And often if we work really hard to get to wherever we are, naturally, our consciousness is going to go, I did not want to work any harder, thanks. And it's got, you know, been so hard to get here, it's going to be even harder to get to that next piece. Alrighty, so we're going to dive into that. Okay, fantastic. Possibly Alexander. Oh, wonderful. So you could muscle test and say, I am Sophia and possibly Alexander. And just see, it'd be really interesting to see what your um, your body says. Um, I'm really intrigued to see how your body responds there. Do let me know. Um, so exciting. Okay, so I'm going to... 
do the releasing statement around any beliefs that we have about having to work harder. Just using this one as an example. Okay, so just taking, I'll guide you through so you can follow along. Okay, so just invite you just to take a nice deep breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Again, we're going to say it once out loud and then twice internally. And let go of this, this belief. So I'm ready to release and transmute the belief. I have to work harder to have 10k months, 50k months, whatever one that you are falling in. I transmute, uncreate and delete this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then I just invite you to say this in your head so it's like you're thinking it in terms of that, I mean, you are thinking it obviously, but in terms of that voice that you hear in your head, that often is going <laughs> at you, we're going to say some, you know, intentional things with that, with that voice in our head, we're going to put it to use. Okay, so here in your head, and I'll say it out loud so you can repeat it internally, I'm ready to release and transmute the belief. I have to work harder to have 10k months. I transmute uncreate and delete this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And then just breathe in for four and breathe out for four. And then we're going to do it one more time. I'm just staying with the energy of this by doing this for this length of time. So I'm ready to release again, saying it in your head, in your mind's eye. I'm ready to release and transmute the belief, I have to work harder to have 10k months. I transmute, uncreate and delete this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Okay, how are you feeling? Alrighty, now we're going to imprint what you really want. So let's say you the money's come in, it's the end of the month, it's already the end of August, the money's all there, cash is in the bank, so you can see it in your mind's eye. So how would you know the cash is there? Would you be looking at your bank account on your phone? Would you be looking at a spreadsheet on your computer? How would you know? Let us know in the comments what you like. Yeah, I would be on my bank app or whatever it is. So I'm going to invite you to imagine and see that amount of money in your bank account and we're going to do this together so i'm going to invite you to we're going to be bringing your heart into coherence so allowing your heart chakra to fill up with love in a second and then i'm going to invite you just to follow along i've just now received 10k whatever it is to see that image in your mind's eye of how you'll know that it's there just to feel into it's like of course you did you want it to feel just really really normal yeah of course i did I feel satisfied, successful, peaceful, grateful. And I'll uh, say this out loud so you can follow along. Okay, so taking a nice deep breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Allow yourself to be intentional and tell your heart chakra to fill up with more and more love. To think of someone that you love. Unconditionally. Feel your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. And from this space, I invite you to bring up the amount of money in your mind's eye, see it in your bank account or in your spreadsheet. And to declare, I have just now received over 10k. Of course I did. I feel satisfied, I feel successful, peaceful, grateful. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Again, I'm going to invite you to repeat this in your mind's eye so you're hearing your voice saying this. I'll say it out loud for you so you can follow along. I've just now received over £10,000 or dollars. Of course I did. I feel satisfied successful, peaceful, grateful. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Let's take a nice deep breath in and out. Notice how you're feeling, how your body's responding. 
Okay, the heart chakra giving they are in brighter, they are in brighter, they are in brighter. Again, repeating silently, I've just now received over 10k. Of course I did. I feel satisfied, successful, peaceful, grateful. And now this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. From this space, where you can really feel the frequency of this, I'm going to invite you to live what I call living in the energy of the question. So this is where we're asking the question from a place of already having had it. You've already received it. So it's like, why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Like, because we already are. Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Because we've activated that connection with our higher self. We've raised our frequency here, and now we're in that space. Like, why? Is I just, why do large sums of money come to me so easily? And then just inviting you just to perhaps to write that question out, just to journal. Notice any ideas that come to you now. And know that more ideas will come to you. And typically when you're in the middle of doing something else like showering and the ego mind's taken care of, you know, or you're washing up or cooking or something, listen. Listen to your higher self. The whisper. That might come through somebody's name will come to you or have a flash of an idea and this is the key thing is to take action on the idea the ideas that come to you so really notice what's going to come through now you've activated this and to support this if it invites you to think about well, what action can you take perhaps you've already got some things planned so they might not be inspired actions but they're planned actions what action can you take that will make this manifestation inevitable you know, the thing that I see that so often is people aren't aren't asking enough in terms of asking enough for what they want, asking enough people to work with them if they're self-employed. Hello, hello, welcome. Oh, okay, so the question is, why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Thanks for clarifying. Yeah. So you're asking it as they already are coming. Like, oh my word, like, why are they coming to me so easy? This is amazing. Um, the energy behind asking the question when you're just in there is like one of awe and wonder and curiosity. It's a very different, we, we manifest with the questions that we ask. And so often we're asking the wrong kind of questions. And so then we create more of the things that we don't want. That makes sense. So why do large sums of money come to me so easily? And just living in the energy of that question is going to be magic. The gift of you know your of money is that your stuff gets kicked up as you're growing to you know expand your business and holding a new level of money consciousness. And the, this is the thing you know I work with people at all stages of business, whether they're new in business, but also you know who are seven figure, eight figure earners, and we need to work on ourselves consistently. So we consciously know of some of the resistances that we know about, and then there's a whole load of other ones that we don't know about um, that are running, uh, running the show, uh, running our awareness and taking us to the to the wrong place. And this is why I guide you through visualizing the manifested thing as if it's already happened, it's, it's a memory. So you could omit this from your human Wi-Fi. You've programmed the sat-nav coordinates and you've created your identity and your consciousness will take you there. All righty, that is what I have for you today. Yes, I do work with people. So if this is resonating with you, would love to, and you'd love to dive in deeper, then do DM me and we can chat through what that would look like. Or you can also email me at clientcare at louisahavers.com. And we've got a number of different ways that you can work with us. We've got our Helix Method certification program so you can master energy psychology for yourself and for your clients so that you can create a revenue stream for, 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 for your business. Yeah. And master your energy psychology so and everyone who comes in to do the helix method certification program has their own spiritual awakening and becomes master of energy psychology for themselves and then of course they're able to share that with their clients as well and um, we've got super exciting pre-enrollment savings of up to 40 percent of the, the retail investments which you'll see on our website so our website is www.louisahavers.com um, the email is clientcare at louisahavers.com. So the Louisa Havers is spelt as in the my name tag on Instagram. Um, for those of you that um, can't um, 
might not be able to see it actually. So it's L O U I S A H A V E R S dot com. And we, we also have the, um, the, the wealth portal as well, where we help people to break through their money ceiling. And I do work privately in one to one with clients as well. Alrighty, so I will be back tomorrow to chat about multidimensional manifesting. This is absolutely key because if you have got your higher self on board, there are some things that you are going to come up against uh, because your subconscious is going to masterfully try and prove itself right. But when you've got your higher self on board, then you're able to really be able to navigate all the things that are happening in a more aligned way and be able to fulfill your soul, pur soul purpose rather than what your kind of human self thinks is, is possible. So can't wait to jump on again. We'll be back here tomorrow. And uh, the replay will, of course, be, be up there tomorrow. The same time tomorrow, let me just check my diary because I've been doing this very spontaneously. What are we doing tomorrow? Yes, it will be roughly, yeah, it will be the same time tomorrow. It will be same, same time, same place tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, till then, I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Lots of love. Take care.